one of the 43 missing Ayotzinapa students has been identified forensically from remains found in a plastic bag. Protesters warn that demonstrations will be stepped up. In the U.S., protests continue due to the non-indictment of the police officers who killed Michael Brown in Ferguson and Eric Gardner in New York. Demonstrations in Berkeley, California turned violent. Israeli warplanes violated Syrian airspace and attacked alleged Hezbollah targets near Damascus. The Syrian government called the airstrikes an act of direct aggression. In Peru, the UN Climate Change Conference continues this week. At the close of the first week, eight Latin American countries presented a major program to recover 20 million square kilometers of forest in the continent. Six men held for more than a decade at US military prison Guantanamo Bay arrived in Uruguay for resettlement Sunday. It's the latest step by President Obama to close the controversial facility. In Mexico, heads of state arrive in Veracruz for the two-day Ibero-American Summit. The 24th annual meeting of the leaders of the Spanish and Portuguese-speaking nations of Europe and the Americas will focus on education, innovation, and culture.